Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Y'all, let's play with some pretty paper. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and thank you so much for choosing to spend your day with me. Today is going to be very quick because y'all know that I am all about the functional, the practical, the beautiful. And that's what we're doing today. We're going to take some pretty paper and some chipboard and make our own beautiful full-size clipboard. This will support eight and a half by 11 inch paper. So I'll give you a closer look in just a minute, but y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. All right, y'all. So here is a closer look at today's awesome project. When finished, it measures nine by 11 and a half. So it will support your eight and a half by 11 inch papers. Y'all, this isn't a mini, this isn't a medium. This is a full size clipboard and it's very sturdy to boot. So what I've done is I've used a hardware kit and I'll share that link in the description box, but this kit makes it possible for us to attach our own clip to the clipboard. And this one also comes with the handy little hanger in case you wanted to hang it on the wall. I won't be using mine for that because I substituted the metal hardware in here for some of the Chicago screws that I use because what I wanted was an elevated back to this. So you can see my metal hardware here, but when I place it down for writing, it's not laying flat on the desk, which makes it very easy for me to write and doesn't interfere with me holding it and writing as well. So this is just something that I decided to do. Your kit will come with the metal snaps that will help this to lay flat on the table if that's what you want. But for me, I'm not using those metal snaps. I'm going to use some more screw types that we have used on the channel before. So here is what we're going to need to make this. So here's the hardware that comes in the pack. It's just a standard clipboard clip and then you get four metal snaps, the long piece and the head that snaps on. I am not going to use those. Instead, I am going to use these, which have the screw head in them. And this is going to allow me to elevate this just a little bit on my desk, which is going to work better for me. Might not be your preference. So if you want to use the screws that come with the kit, just make sure that you have your little chunky hammer handy because you will need to secure those metal snaps in place. And then I have two pieces of my medium weight chipboard that I'll be joining together to create a heavyweight board. Now, if you have some heavyweight chipboard, that's perfect for this because that's the type board that you definitely want. You want to make sure that your clipboard is very sturdy for writing. And the two pieces that I have measure nine by 11 and a half. Then I have a piece of decorative card stock and I'm using a full 12 by 12 inch piece. This is a double-sided cardstock, so I can go with either one of these. For my demo, I use the floral side. For the project piece, we're going to use the stripes. And so all I'm going to do is I am going to add tape to one piece of the chipboard. So I'm going to make sure that I have really good tape coverage. I've already started adding some. I'll go ahead and finish it with you guys. And then I'm going to lift up this piece so I can place down my final piece and get good coverage. And you can alter this process however you like. Just make sure that it works for you. I'm just giving a blueprint, but you might want to tweak it and change it. So I am removing my tape backers. And I'm going to take the non-taped piece and we're going to join it with the taped piece and I want to try to get this as closely joined and aligned as I can. Nothing that we do in paper crafting is going to be perfect. Nothing that you do in hand crafting is perfect. Just like nothing that we do in life is perfect. We simply do our best. And so now I have my nice hard board. This time I do need to add tape. To the back so that we can stick it down to our paper. If you have a Xyron Creatopia, you can run this um, 12 by 12 inch piece through your Creatopia. If you don't, we can just add our tape 
the way that I'm doing here. Again, I'm going to peel away the tape back up here so that I can lay down my final piece of tape. And we'll peel away all of the tape backers. So now I'm just going to take it, line it up with my grid, and I'm going to lay it down, trying to get my stripes as straight as possible. Then I'm going to use my big old spatula, and we're just going to go over this. And now I will remove all of my excess paper just by trimming it away. And I'll go over this again with my big old spatula. I am loving how this is looking. But one thing that I want to do is I want to knock off just a little bit of that brightness. So I have a sanding block that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to go around the edges and knock off a little bit of the brightness on the edge. You can also do this with your Distress Ink as well, but I don't want to add any to this. So now I'm just going to take this and go around the edges to get everything nice and smooth. And y'all, there is my clipboard. I'm not going to put any paper on the back because normally when we buy clipboards in the store, we simply have that natural back. Now, if you want to put some Mod Podge on the back to protect it, you can, but I am fine with how this looks. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to take my clip and put it down and get a little circle or a dot. I just need to know where to punch. Then I'm going to bring in my cropper dial and I have it set to the 3 16 setting. And I am just going to find that hole that I punched or that hole that I marked and I'm going to punch just like that. And then I'll do the same thing on this side. So I'm just going to find my mark, try to align it and punch and that's close enough for me so now i can take the screw portion that has the head on it that you would actually place your screwdriver on and i'm going to put it through like that and then i'm going to feed that through the hole and it's going to be a very very tight fit on the back and then i'll take the screw portion that has the grooves in it and then i'm just going to start turning it until that screw tightens. So there we've got one nice and tight and I'll take my second screw, feed it through that hole. I'll take this one that has the grooves in it and we'll just start turning it as well and just turn it until you have it nice and tight. And I'm trying to hold it so that you can see the little elevation that I have here. And then I'm going to take this little metal piece. It's not even a screwdriver. And I'm just going to turn it one more time to make sure that that's nice and tight so that when I lift up, it's not going anywhere. And so that is how easy it is to make your own little clipboard. I am just going to take these cut apart pieces and place them down so that you can see how pretty they are. And then I'm going to lift up and clip these in place so that you can see that we have a nice full-size clipboard that we made ourselves. You guys know that on my channel I am all about the practical and the functional and I'm also about using beautiful papers to make things look great. Looking great is simply part of why I craft. And being able to use what looks great should also be a part of why we craft. So I'm going to bring the first one back in so that you can see just how gorgeous these are. Guys, if you ever have a reason to take notes and you need a hard board to write on, if you've been following me for any amount of time, you have some chipboard. You have what you need to be able to make your own clipboard, even if you don't have these. A lot of you have clips that we use on the channel. 
You don't necessarily have to have this one. You can use something as simple as this to clip your papers and write on a hard board. So you don't necessarily have to have hardware that's made specifically for creating a clipboard. Improvise. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this awesome way to create your own full-size clipboard. And if you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.